Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, crowd response, let's do it. I'm Laura, and I am the dream and the hope of the slave. Understanding why it is I do what I do is pretty much understanding that. One of my beginnings is when Indians came by the shipload to work as indentured laborers on the sugarcane fields. That is possibly the most understated sentence you will ever hear, because that story is deserving of its own 10 slides. But they came as slaves, and they learned English so that their children would value education here, so that their children would build their own schools, so that their children would become university graduates, so that their children would stand in front of you here at one of the best universities in the whole world, free and equal, and able to do anything. The luxury of my life was gifted to me by the generations who went before me, who believed in giving to their children better than they themselves received. Thanks, Mom. So bringing these gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. You see, much has been given to me. As I stand here, the actual physical embodiment of what all those people hoped and dreamt for. Much has been given to me, and so much is expected. I had no idea how I would step up to all that. It took me a while to get here. And where is here? On a quest with an equally insane, sorry, passionate person as outliers. And outliers, we support after school programs to increase access to quality education in communities around Cape Town. After school programs are projects that work outside of the normal schooling system, supporting students academically from grade R to grade 12. Where we do this? These programs are across the Greater Cape, from Freyhrond, Sozo's in the house here, <laughs> to Danoon, from Mowbray to Stellenbosch, and many places in between. Why we do this? A typical student walks into his classroom with 42 of his other students. He hates maths, and they're about to do circle geometry. But he won't ever pick up his hand and ask a question. Not because he's shy, he's not, but because he knows what the response is going to be. Just write this down, it doesn't matter if you understand. He's in grade 12, he doesn't understand. He's beginning to think it doesn't matter either. We're losing a lot of our young people. And picking up the lost, like starfish on the beach, are these after-school programs. They're places of hope and help where every student is known by name. These are the places that are changing our communities. They're bringing up our young people, and they're educating them. It has to involve education. That's how the children of slaves built their own schools. If lollipops were able to do that, Outliers would be in the business of increasing access to lollipops, but it's education. In these spaces, students go from fearful silence to leading study groups, from code four in maths to accounting at UWC, from drug addict to passing matric. We need spaces like these in every one of our communities. This is who we work with. These are our partners. We are currently supporting 23 sites who work with over a 1,000 students. Word has gotten out, and this number increases every single week. Each of our partners have their own plans for the change they want to see in their communities. Our support does not define them. They know their students, their communities, their schools, their politics better than we ever will. Outliers comes alongside and encourages these original idealists to keep going with the vision they have for change in their community. We help them do what they do in the best way possible. And as we grow a partner's impact, more students have access to quality education. For each partner, we support them in six ways. As we build a partner up in one of these areas, their impact increases, as they're either able to help more students or improve the quality of help they give at the moment. So support for our facilitators and tutors typically happens through workshops and training. Facilitators are the incredible people who oversee an after-school program. They are also IT, finance, marketing, HR, and admin departments. The training we supply is relevant to their realities and their capacity. We have to meet their one-man show context. Tutors take on just as much. 
often being teacher, friend, nurse, social worker in any given session. The crazy thing is that they want to do this. They want to know how to respond. As one tutor said, if you don't put in the time, you lose the child. Our schools are losing our children. We will be different. Through our network, we are able to kit out our partners to be academic spaces. A safe space requires policies, for safety procedures, food, equipment, and furniture. There are basics that must be in place for every single partner, a roof for one. But what works in one partner may be completely impractical for another. 20 computers that house maths programs in Prochorus is absolutely essential because it keeps disruptive students focused when they don't have a tutor. Disruptive students in Tukazani Brothers, however, means choir practice. And actually what they need is not 20 computers, but a stage. We move on to mobilizing resources. Not all resources are created equally. When we vet our materials, we look for learning value, ease of use, relevance, and cost effectiveness. Different resources for different needs. At the bottom over there is one of our startup packs, specifically given to Sakubuntu, and that's our lovely Zonke. This pack was, meant that she could provide quality education support when her students did not bring back homework and did not have any textbooks. We want to, our partners to have a space for mentoring and career development that contextualizes the academic learning that they're getting. Each year at the UCT Expo, we see alumni of these mentoring programs walk through the door. Student cards on their necks, belonging in a place that had once only been a dream. You've met them already, Heidi pointed them out. We want these hardworking students to have access to bursaries, job shadows, and internships that they don't have in their own network because they don't know the people that we know. We network for opportunities so we can have them accessible to our partners. Opportunities like this is how in Shlanguli, who I can't see at all, <laughs> who was last year's speaker, found access to Inkaline Academy and developed his love for drawing. He's now third year graphic design, First year graphic design. <laughs> what happened? We'll catch up. He's now doing graphic design and teaching me things that I don't completely understand. He's also starting his own after school program. These are just a few examples of the work we do with each one of our partners. We would like to do more training, provide more resources, have more career workshops. Because as the partner grows, more students have access mm -hmm. to quality education support. But we can't do it all. We've had to accept our limitations, just as we've, we've accepted that lollipops aren't going to save the world. So this is actually where you come in. This poster is up outside. You may have seen it. We once had a young lady read the question, as 50 others had calmly done before her. And then she promptly burst into tears. She was graduating that year, and she couldn't understand why her mom was making such a fuss about the party and the people and the ceremony. In that moment, she understood. There were so many people who had contributed to where she was today. And where she was today was a really big deal. There are so many people who have contributed to where you are today. And where you are today is a really big deal. So what would your answer be? No one gets here alone. Whether you're aware of it or not, you have a score on this chart. Thanks to the generations before you, thanks to your mom or your granddad, that teacher, friend, or coach, or the tutor or after-school facilitator. Whose dreams and hopes went into making you today? You stood on the shoulders of giants. Just being South African means you stood on the shoulders of epic giants. We'd like to give you a chance to respond to all of that goodness. Right now, in fact. We know many of you want to get involved, and you don't know how. Knowing what to do isn't the, always the easiest, clearest thing. So being handed out to you now, this is your cue, <laughs> by friends who didn't know that this was going to be their job, <laughs> is your step up card. On these cards, we've given you some basic options that would improve the impact of a partner we work with. Facilitate training, donate equipment, sponsor textbooks, take up tutoring or mentoring, or join our network. 
What you have to do is firstly get a card and then pick an option or pick three options. Whatever you pick, we can help you step up to it. We have your details, and if you've noticed on your card, you now have ours. You seem like nice people, and we'd like to chat about your choices. Just to show how much we like you, we've attached a lollipop. They may not change the world, but they're blue and they're round, and we like that kind of repetition. Tonight is about showcasing the diverse ways that others have stepped up. We at Outliers appreciate that there are many different ways to get involved. It's not that you have to do one particular thing. Trust me, there's a big enough problem to need all kinds of support. These speakers inspire us, and so we wanted to share them with you to inspire and challenge you to step up in your own way, with your own style. To all those who have stepped up with us, none of this support would be possible without your support and encouragement and office space and resources and coffee. You make outlines possible. To our speakers today, for all of you for showing up, thank you.